guys, this is our first proper night in Poland. We've come to Mackey's. We are a little bit drunk. We've got some water here, and this is our Mackey's haul. Wow, look at this. I'm gonna steal a chip. Nothing more romantic than eating freshly made mixed up my bad, sorry, Mackey's in the middle of the night in some Polish alley in front of presumably hundreds of people. Just absolutely romantic uh, in and of itself. S just sitting on the floor while eating McDonald's. People have told me that in McDonald uh, McDonald's in other countries is significantly better because I guess here in America we don't really care about ourselves to such a degree that the food that we use is so incredibly subpar that it's like almost ineditable. So I guess it's better here. I, I could be wrong. I don't know. Um, my logic on it is always McDonald's is always going to be subpar. Like that's literally what you're paying for. But I guess it really doesn't matter to be honest. But absolutely, this is the place you're going to take any girl. If you want to take her on a date, find an alleyway, go get some McDonald's, drink a ton of alcohol. Obviously, that's one thing that Corey, Corey's World is obviously known for. Though, one, one thing I've noticed recently about Corey's World and Leah is that even though... Uh, I've seen Corey's world consistently always going, Oh my god, guys, I've done it again. I've drunk too much. I'm so hungover. I've seen more videos than I can count of Leah drinking copious amounts of alcohols and Corey, on the other hand, uh, struggling, really struggling too, to put down as much alcohol as Leah does. I don't know if Leah has like an incredible tolerance. It's just some, it's like some kind of healing factor where the alcohol doesn't fully register on her body. But Corey struggles heavily. I don't know if Corey's world is the type of person that drinks a lot of alcohol or he's just being peer pressured to do it because Leah loves it. I'm not really too sure, but regardless, let's go. Sat in the lake because Mackey's is closing, so we got no option really, but it's fine. We I got... think it's pretty nice that they gave you the tray though. Damn, I saw what is this on the right though? Is a whole bunch of like cookies, just a whole bunch of McDonald's cookies in, in a random alley on the floor. I guess there's, there's worse things, I suppose. So we got some chips. You couldn't take this to the crib, so though? good. So salty. What the fuck was that? Who the fuck was you? Just like a random woman in the background screaming. Do you guys hear that? Got some chips. Listen. So good. So what the fuck is that? Why was that woman screaming like that, man? Salty. What's so romantic? Oh my god, Corey! Wow, you really took me to this lovely place. Oh look, a woman literally dying! Wow, Corey, I can't believe that you took me here. You must really love me. Both got a lemonade. Legendary. Do you know what they do in Poland, Mackies? White chocolate donut. Cookies. <gasps> Okay, cookies. I suspected that they were cookies, but I guess white chocolate donuts as well. I, I've never seen a McDonald's ever make a donut with the exception of that one time that Becky Jones... I know everything from McDonald's just from Becky Jones. She keeps me up to date with the new menu items and the McRibs and the random celebration donuts and stuff like that. Man, it's, it's a benefit. I mean, granted, the information is really not benefiting me in any way in the sense of like, I'm never going to McDonald's to buy the new McDonald's recipes or whatever the fuck. And also, it doesn't really apply to me given the fact that I live in the United States and none of the menu items in the UK actually transfer over to the United States, which is bullshit, by the way. Maybe I would try a few different things. Like maybe if they did have a random McRib or a random donut, I might be inclined to go in there and just test it out or whatever hustle the puerto rican women behind the counter to give me a quick donut or something like that but no no we don't have the same menu so it's, it's always going to be different but uh, anyway go ahead. oh yeah there's salted, salted caramel, salted caramel. <gasps> oh that's diabolical to eat the cookie first man i don't know about that look at this random cup like the random like somebody just tossed like can you imagine literally Corey's world and leah just sitting in this doorway in the middle of this alley and uh some people just walk by and just see them and just toss a fucking coffee cup right in there dude like oh, get this fucking scrudge away from me disgusting people Ugh, just tossing it dude mm, looks so good it's so good they also do donuts yeah, yeah. one thing i've <laughs> i don't think cory world pronounces the y uh, or here, like I don't. It, it's always an e instead of the h or a y. It's always there. It's always that's right, guys. What here today? And it's it's never it's never actual proper pronunciation. I guess it's because they're from a particular part of the UK or whatever. I don't know, man. Whatever. Pops. And does Leah get any of it, or is Leah just like sitting here wondering when her chance is gonna be to get any of these like delicious McDonald's de delicacies? Macaroons. Damn, dude. Damn, they actually, they going all out. I'm gonna, give, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a bug. They do go all out in Poland, I suppose, in the McDonald's menu department. 
I've never had a macaroon before. In my opinion, the macaroons just kind of look like... You remember that episode of Spongebob when they were making... Um, I think it was when Spongebob got fired from his job. And he, to Mr. Krabs was like... I, I, you're not going to, you're not going to be a part of this. You're not going to be a part of the Krusty Krab or whatever he said. And SpongeBob was like, "Fuck you! I'm gonna make my own shit." And then he like made pretty patties or whatever, and then he dyed everybody different colors or whatever. Which, by the way, really helped inequality, bro. I mean, at that point, color doesn't matter. Changing anybody to any color, I mean, that's revolutionary. But uh, that's macaroons remind me of that. They just remind me of little, little, small, little pretty patties. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Don't they look like pretty patties? I would love, man, look. I know that right now Wendy's has the Krabby Patties or whatever. But from what I was looking at, because I almost fell into the trap of going down there and buying that thing. Because, you know, capitalism or whatever. And I walked, I was going to walk in to buy it. But then I realized, like, isn't this literally just a burger? Like, isn't this literally just a regular cheeseburger that you guys are just selling under the guise of Krabby Patty? Like, what about this makes it a Krabby Patty? But then again, I thought about it a little bit more. Krabby Patties are literally just burgers of the sea, right? Like, there's nothing really in intrinsic about it. Like, they don't do anything particular about it to make it special or anything like that. It's just a cheeseburger underwater. So, I guess it really doesn't matter. I don't know. All the people complaining the about the fact that, you know, it's just a regular cheeseburger. What do you want? Like, what did you want them to do? What did you, like, a fucking... Did you want the, the voice actor of, uh... Mr. Krabs to come in and cough a loogie directly on your burger to increase the authenticity of it. What the fuck do you want? Like, I, I just, I, I never really understood. Like, what are we supposed to do in to in order to like make these things whole? I don't know. And to to be honest, at this point, um, I guess it really doesn't fucking matter. A burger is a burger at the end of the day. There's really no difference to me. Um, you can't really fuck up burgers unless you do something weird to it, like slap your dick on top of it or like cover it in cheese. That's always weird. Go wedges. Okay, I see a large fry and I see french fries. So, I'm sorry, a large fry. And I've never seen wedges before, which are just steak fries, right? Corey's world, I guess, got to have... Uh, he's always got to eat it first, obviously. Chicken legends. Is that a McRib? What is that? That's a McRib? What is that? Chicken legend? I've never heard of that. Got a proper boss burger. Damn, Not dude. Not sure what's in there. Cheers, gang. It's a big-ass fucking... But damn, Corey, you got to calm down. One thing I've always asked a question about, okay? Over there in the UK, I see Corey's World. All the representation I see over there in the UK is probably, like, the most disgusting representation over there, right? Um, obviously, the people I'm looking at are Corey's World, Leah, Sherry Ann, uh, uh, Becky Jones, you know, Candy's Cooking, all these people. And they eat the most disgusting food in, I've never I've ever seen in my entire life like the the fact that the light from my screen that hit my eyes was what they were eating is so disrespectful but I see them eating these disgusting sloppy foods and for some reason McDonald's or sorry Macca's is always number one on that list and they love getting a burger but here in the United States people love McDonald's don't get me wrong I mean it's literally the place where it was made but for some reason in the UK I see these people, and they eat it so often, but then people will hit me up, and they go, no, 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 David, we don't eat McDonald's like that. I don't know what's up with these people. I don't know how they eat this McDonald's so often. So, which is, how do, how the fuck do these people eat so much goddamn Mackey's, and then I'm looking at these people, because they do at, le at least, in my opinion, four times a week, four or five times a week, they're eating at McDonald's, and... I understand it's very convenient and whatever, and it probably is better than it is here in the United States, but... How come I see so many people in the UK eating that shit? Now, granted, it's not so many people. It's like five. But still, you know what I'm saying? Like, why are these people so sought out on the Mackeys? Leah got this burger, yeah. Yeah. You know what I love about Leah? Really, really, I love, what I, what I really love about Leah, by the way, they have since uh, been engaged. Corey uh, uh, got on his knees and proposed to Leah. Very, very beautiful, by the way. I thought it was a bad place that they proposed. They did it on top of like a a bridge or something that you're supposed to put a lock on, but they got rid of all the locks, so it was kind of, like, irrelevant to do it there. But anyway, he got down on his knees. Super thick, by the way. Corey had the amazing... He was looking really, really cheeked up. But um, one thing I love about Leah is the tanner. The tanner that she uses. She uses a lot of tanner, and I know she uses a lot of tanner because I'm literally seeing the tanner rub off on the white collar of this jacket. And the bottom half of her face has literally been, you know, neutered <laughs> 
from all of the all the tanner and uh, I don't know why in the UK you guys are so obsessed with the tanner dude I get it um, you guys don't have sunlight in your country or something like that so you got to emulate it in some other way but this is ridiculous dude I mean this woman is darker than Kamala Harris dude look at this shit um, does she get to say the n-word pass when she's able to have this much tanner on her face does the coat now have the n-word pass because it was white but now it's suddenly it's, it's various shades of darker darker dark darker color I mean her face is literally Neapolitan at this point but it's one thing I really love about Leah is like she's multicultural in a white girl Rising. It's kind of like to, to think about the circumstance that they're in right now literally go out in the middle of the night in Poland and drink so much alcohol that you're gonna be like completely done for the for the next like day right when you wake up tomorrow you're probably gonna be stumbling out of bed and before you do go to sleep you go out and get macaes. It's just something majestic about it. Like, these people have it all figured out, it seems like. I mean, honestly speaking, dude, it, it, given the fact that this woman is basically just a black woman at this point, she might as well go all out, right? Start doing her edges, um, wearing a bonnet. Why not, dude? Why not? I mean, it's not there's nothing wrong. It's not culturally relevant about wearing a bonnet or, you know, braiding your hair and stuff. Like, anybody can do that. But you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, start adopting some of the norms. Why not, dude? Start listening to Kevin Gates. I don't know. What do I don't forget? How good is that? Your lips are literally almost the same color as your face. That's a 10 out of 10. You know how many times I've heard them say that Mackey's is a 10 out of 10? Too many times. And not everything can be a 10 out of 10, by the way. If everything is a 10 out of 10, then everything's average, okay? We need, like, another form of... I feel like these people's taste buds have been completely obliterated off their tongue. Like, like Hiroshima or, like, Nagasaki. Just, like, they they had taste buds at one point, but they've just been completely obliterated with the sheer amount of uh, ecstasy, the sheer amount of mouth... The mouth muscles have, like, I don't know, ejected them off the, of the tongue because it wasn't relevant anymore to keep them since they eat so frequently. And I don't know if I showed you, but this is our water just to get us through the night. Just through the night, huh? How many bottles is that? I'm guessing four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's a weird number, right? I'm guessing that's how that's how much that is because it's four there and then it's got to be four on the top. It looks like they took one out. I don't even know why we're counting this. Oh, it's probably four and four and four because it looks like they took two bottles. Cheers, 12, guys. You know pack. I love you. We are 12 pack. You my fiance gets home from work in 30 minutes, and if dinner's not on the table ready for her, she'll go ballistic. So I'm making a quick, easy, low calorie meal right from scratch. It's the cheesiest mac and cheese ever. Cheesy. Step one put your double cream in the slow cooker, then get your. Damn, in the fucking slow cooker, dude? I don't think you can cook. I, this has got to be a troll video, right? But I love the way Corey is talking. You know, it's just, it's something really, really forbidden about it. Oh my god, Leah's coming home later tonight. I've got to make sure that she's replenished. She has a good amount of sustenance. You know that I'm a good man. So I'm going to cook her something cheesy. The pasta of choice. I've gone for the shells. Chuck that in as well. And now time for the cheese. Damn. I've actually gone for every cheese you can imagine. First cheese is the squeezy cheesy. Cheesy. And the next cheese of choice is the burger cheese just slices. Craft che just craft singles no on there. Cheese would be complete without this. Usually we get fresh milk That's... from the cows in okay, the garden, bro. but they've run off today. So I've had to pop to the local supermarket to get some red milk. Tip a whole pint in before Okay, adding. even if this was a joke. Okay, hear me out. Even if this was a joke. This this slow cooker is finished, right? Like how much how much how much cleaning do you have to do in order to properly cleanse this shit? How much food did you wait did you waste anyway? Okay, look, it's fine for the shells. Like you can get them for like a dollar or whatever at the at the supermarket. Like that's usually how much I I'm not, I'm not paying like I know a lot of people nowadays will pay for like the bigger versions of them or whatever, like the more the more uh, expensive, the more bougie versions of pasta. Like, who the fuck cares, bro? It's pasta at the end of the day. I know a lot of people go like, oh, buy the pasta with the little white flakes on the side. I don't want my pasta to have dandruff, bro. I want my pasta to be good. I want my pasta to look like it was fresh or whatever the fuck. I know that I don't know what I'm talking about here. But some part of me believes that if you buy pasta that's flaky, you're basically eating. I mean, they look like hair, right? You're basically eating very, very dandrified portions of pasta and I don't, I don't fuck with that um 
Would you would you eat dandruff pasta? Probably not. Uh, I would do it under like other certain scenarios, and I understand that it is more expensive and it probably has better quality of stuff. But at the end of the day, like, why does it matter? Does anybody really care? It's like the people that go into the store and then buy like, oh, I gotta make sure that I buy bread with like an extra three grams of protein in it, and then the price of the bread went from a dollar fifty up to like. I don't know, $5 or whatever, dude. What are you fucking doing, bro? Because the bread is slightly browner and has random, like, little pieces of whatever. Like, I guess, like, if you're okay with having bugs in your food, I'm okay with it, too, to a certain degree. Like, I, there have been many times where I bought, I buy rice from, like, a particular place that I like to go to because it's cheaper. But... I've, I've since started washing my rice because I had a black friend of mine that told me to wash the rice and it comes out way better. I didn't actually know that you had to wash rice because I'm uncultured, but he had told me to wash the rice. And ever since then, I've realized that I probably, in my opinion, I've probably eaten about four or five weevils in my life. And sometimes even voluntarily, sometimes you look into, you know, you're cooking the rice and you see something rise to the top and you're like, what is that? And then you look at it and you're like, oh, that's a whole ass weevil. And you know what, dude? Weevils are not necessarily even bad. Weevils are like probably the best of all the animal kingdom when it comes to the, the insects or whatever. They're cool guys, uh, little snoots and boots, but you probably don't want to eat them. Probably not, but I'm okay with it. Like if you're, if you're buying food and you, you're expecting that food to not have something in it, listen, dude, all this shit's growing out of the fucking ground anyway. What the fuck do you want? You're eating cheese. It's fermented cow titty milk. What the fuck do you want, okay? You're eating ice cream. Do you know what that is? Like 15 Amish women literally now have arthritis from churning that fucking milk into butter and then butter into, 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 into ice cream, okay? Do you feel better about yourself? I hope you don't. But the point I'm making is if you're not willing to eat a couple weevils in order to satiate your mouth, then you're not really living life. If I'm being honest with you, you gotta. You, there's some casualties of wars there, and guess what? They're already dead, so it's not like it really matters. Um, but it's okay. I'm perfectly fine eating weevils. More cheese. Okay, I've got that's the grated mozzarella. Probably a lot of wasted money, dude. I know that cheese. This is a this is a brand cheese as well. I buy the store brands. The cheese, even store brands, you're paying three dollars for a bag. Uh, I wouldn't even. I mean, this got to be at least five. Just wasting money. I guess if you got it like that, bro, sure, dude. But um, nah. <laughs> Nah, I could not do that, bro. I would have to. I hope there was somebody below that cheese bag when you poured it in. Uh, an extra mature cheddar. Usually, Damn, I add in six packets. But we're trying like to if you were into it, you know, like a cheese bath or something like that. If you were like really, really into it, or uh, maybe if you really wanted to, you could probably get like a whole bunch of ragu or a whole bunch of like tomato sauce and then just hop in the tub. Uh, what you could do is you could take a whole bunch of tomato sauces and just pour it, pop the lid and just pour it into a tub, and then get completely naked and then sit in the bathtub just embraced with the tomato sauce and just pretend like RP as a meatball or something like that. Do that with your girlfriend or something like that. You have a grand old time. You guys could you guys could pretend like you're a piece at the uh, at a nice fine Italian restaurant like Olive Garden or something like that, dude. It's going to be majestic, man. And then you get some cheese in there too. I don't know, bro. Whatever you want to do. I've seen worse. Make it as low calorie as possible. I sophisticately ate the cheese that I dropped on the floor before adding in some Magnum. What is Maggie Magnum? Mac and cheese. We're almost complete on the ingredients, but obviously we need all the herbs and spices. I went for okay. garlic granules, barbecue, sadji, and some chives. I added in lots of barbecue because I like to make fuck. sure it's extra spicy. Damn. Our barbecue bamboo is dead. In case you're wondering why I'm using one from a jar, homemade barbecue is much better. If damn. you thought the cheese damn. was done, you thought wrong, baby. Maybe. We've gone for Parmesan cheese, some Oxo cubes to make it extra Just beefy. in there like that, huh? Give it a quick mixy mixy. Once it's all mixed together. It's on though. I want everybody to know it is on currently. That 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 is currently cooking as it is. So uh, I know this could be all for fun and games or whatever, dude. But I just want, I want everybody to know it is plugged in and the light is on right there. So this is cooking currently. Five more cheese slices and some laughing cow. It's actually cooking. Yeah, that's. Wow, um, you just you just toss this away at the end of the day, like after you're done doing this skit or whatever, you just like fuck it, like I don't need this shit anymore. I literally ruined this entire thing. I'm just gonna throw it away now, I guess. This is gonna be so juicy and succulent. I'll nope. post the results on my Instagram story. Yeah, you gonna have that straight bubble gut right at the end of this shit, dude. You gonna be running to the fucking bathroom. I'm gonna get day drunk. Yeah. I've just ordered. Vodka Red Bull for me, white wine for Leah, and loads of shots, and they're gonna bring you in. This is got a beeper, So dude. this is all the shots we got. I think we've taken it a bit too far. Obviously, I got my vodka ready. Leah got a white wine because she's posh. I'm not posh. Jesus Christ, dude. A lot of people... <laughs> 
here in America, I feel like the drinking culture is pretty large, but in the UK specifically, you guys have an issue. I don't know why you guys drink so much goddamn alcohol. And I understand that you get fun and enjoyment. In my opinion, alcohol all tastes like ass. I know there are pussy alcohols. A lot of people used to give me shit for drinking pussy alcohols. I don't even drink alcohol in general. I'm all natriel, like a neutral game bar. But I know that when you drink alcohol, regardless of what it is, it's all like sewage water. It all tastes like somebody's like strained grapes through their armpit. But it's like an old uh, Indian man that did it. So you're you're drinking presumably just slop. And I know that you're only doing it for the added benefit later on. And don't get me wrong, I've had probably worse in my mouth. Like I've had a girl pee in my mouth before. Um, I've eaten ass. But then again, women's ass is way better than man's ass. I wasn't eating man's ass. Um, if you ate a man's ass, fucking good lord. You know, you better go to the church and hope somebody can bless that out of you. But... Drinking alcohol to the degree that these people do specifically, it, it's it's actually anomalistic. Like, I've never seen anybody drink as much alcohol as these people. And uh, it's, it's so eye-opening to see the amount that they order and they finish. It's always crazy to me. Um, shouldn't there be a limit? Like usually if you're buying a whole bunch of alcohols like this, usually the bartender is like, yeah, okay, listen there, that you're drinking a lot because you can get literally like thrown into jail for alcohol poisoning somebody, right? Because you're, you're giving them the alcohol. Mm -mm -mm. Cheers, babes. Cheers. Yeah, Leah already looks like she's pretty smashed. Love you too. If you want to play it safe, got a vault. I think Leah's got to calm down with those white outfits, bro. I don't think the white outfits are doing her justice, given the fact that she's always wearing like the fucking the different shades of of brown on her face. Cheers to cheesy chips. Damn. Wow. Also, like the amount of calories that people drink while they're they're an the alcohol is a lot. You can literally drink your entire day's worth of calories with just alcohol. No joke. Big pasties. Cheers, babes. Damn. See what I'm talking about? Like Corey can't drink. <laughs> Corey can't even drink the one, and Leah just smashes them down like it's no problem. Oh. And Corey's a big ass dude. Like Corey, Corey's six foot four. And he probably weighs upwards of 200 pounds. Like, he's a big-ass guy. Uh, but Leah's, like, way shorter than him and way smaller. But Leah can easily swipe her nose, swiping that shit right down her throat, satisfying her lips with all that alcohol. Get it all down, yeah. See what I'm talking about? Like, the peer pressure, dude. The peer pressure. Get it all down, yeah? Like, this man is obviously crying for help. <laughs> Go on, Cole. Oh. What's wrong with that bit? Cheers to BD. See what I'm saying, dude? Like, Lee, <laughs> yo, Lee is a fucking pro. Lee has been doing this shit since she was like nine, bro. Cheers to the invention of an automatic car. Of an automatic car? Okay. Cheers to our left. Like, that's, you know what I'm talking about? Dude, okay. There just needs to be a stop button, dude. That dude, Corey, literally can't finish a single, he couldn't finish a single shot. And he's like spitting it up, dude, literally. And then Lee is like, stop being a fucking bitch. Keep drinking that shit. You a pussy, pussy. Drink the fucking alcohol. Come on, stop it. You know you want that shit. Dude, a fucking pro, bro. That's gotta be like literally condensed night quill. <laughs> the teeth literally turn blue from that. Cheers to Baby Ballard Dog and the Cheese. My life wouldn't be complete without them. Oh, cheers. Corey's like, he doesn't. Oh, Good. man, you know it's going to be bad, bro. Corey, it's okay, dude. You don't got to drink it, man. Just because it's there doesn't mean you have to put it in your mouth, okay? I believe in you, man. Put the shit down. You got to know when to say no, okay? No means no. You, just because Leah wants you to drink, it doesn't mean you have to. Luck. Okay, bro. Jesus Christ, man. Can we... <laughs> it's the middle of the day. Like, what are you guys doing? You guys had nothing else planned after this, bro? Like, what are we fucking doing, bro? You guys are literally alcoholics. Like, this man is crying. He is a... This is literally him crying for help right now, and you're literally tormenting this man. Sitting here in the middle of a bar in fucking Poland. Middle of the day. It's 12 p.m. You're literally slurping down alcoholic beverages like it's nothing. Like, it's water, bro. And to top it off, like, this literally... This right here, his Red Bull is literally a Red Bull and vodka or something like that. It's got alcohol in it. So, like, in order for him to drink this, he's gonna say, like, you know him to, to fight off the flavor of the alcohol, chase it down with even more fucking alcohol. God damn. Oh, you can. You can. He's like, what are you talking? Leah! Leah. Leah, okay? Leah, calm the fuck down, okay? This is your husband, okay? This is a guy that's literally about to be your husband. You can't sit there and be like, you can, you can do it. It's not, it's not, okay. If it was like, 
if it was like him doing something like a video game or whatever, he could beat a, cha a challenge or a stage and you're like, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Like that makes sense. Right. Or like whatever you guys are like, you know, uh, eating each other's asses or some shit. Like then you could say, yeah, you could do it. You could do it. But like this man is literally in the middle of the day, day drinking and he's like throwing up actively in the fucking restaurant. <laughs> and you're talking about some, you can do it. He's good. He, I can see it on his face. Look at him. Look at him. He doesn't need any more. He's good. He's literally good. He didn't even drink any. He's already on the verge of like collapse. Oh Cole, my God. You can. You can. He's good. Just quick. Knock it back. Three. Oh my God. Leah. 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 He's not in the same caliber as you. Leah. Calm down. Okay. This is your husband. What do you want him to die at like 44 of liver failure? Holy good lord, Leah. You guys don't have a good diet in general. You think that your liver is looking any better than... Leah. Leah. Okay? Not everybody needs to drink like you. Leave Corey alone. If he, He'll drink what he wants to drink. All right? Two. Don't be sick. Just hold him Don't be sick is crazy, Leah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. I, just, I, I know they love each other. But Jesus, Leah, come on. Three, two, one, go. There we go. That'll do anyway. Oh my God, dude. Oh my fucking God, dude. This is, okay, this is what happens. This is what fucking happens, Leah. You can't peer pressure this man like that, all right, dude? He, he's, uh, he told you several times, like, I can't do this. It's literally too much for me, Leah. I can't, I'm not fucking like you. I'm not like a fucking mutant. That's like a healing factor where, where alcohol doesn't even register for me. This man is a human being, okay? Just because he's six feet four and he's a big ass man doesn't mean he has his limits, okay? Everybody, just because I'm a dude, okay? Doesn't mean I want to have anal sex with you. Sometimes when I look at the butthole, I get scared. It's the same thing here. He... Leah, look, bro, you're a bad person for that, man. This motherfucking dude, I almost, I almost don't even want to watch this shit. Oh, yeah. Cool. I told you. I can't. Oh, my God. Look at this fucking situation, dude. Look how many shots they got left, too. By the way, I'm sorry if you saw him. He, he kind of puked a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry, okay? I don't know what to fucking tell you, bro. Like, what do you want? This is the real shit, okay, bro? Leah's literally peer pressure in this man. <sighs> Look how much is left. Look how much alcohol is fucking left. He's literally got the residue of the last three shots on his hand and on the table. It's almost as if he didn't even drink. Like, isn't it when you puke when you're when you're drinking alcohol? It's like, isn't that your body's way of saying, like, whoa, what the fuck are you putting in our body right now? This is actually, this is like poison. We have to, like, evacuate this from our mouths. And Leah's like, stop being a fucking bitch. Go, go ahead and keep drinking that shit. You know you can do it. Stop being a fucking pussy. Physically can't, dude. Look at this guy crying for fucking help, bro. Man, it needs to be... Listen, dude. No means no, Leah. Okay? No means low. I know that... I know a lot of people, sometimes they say no means yes or whatever. Because sometimes people are a little bit, like, ambiguous about it. I remember I literally talked to a girl one time and she was like, I don't want to do anything. And I was like, yeah, no problem. And she was like, why do you... What? Like, you don't want to do any stuff? And I was like, I mean, I wanted to. But if you don't want to, that's fine. She was like, no, but I do. But, like, I want you to, like want to do it i want you to like convince me I'm like okay well you need to fucking tell people like you can't say you're not trying to do anything and then i go okay no problem and then like 20 minutes later you go like so are we doing stuff what are you talking about bro just be can you just like, communicate a little bit like i can't read your mind okay i'm not professor x she oh my god bro Corey is finished to take over the game on my own. <laughs> oh my god leah <laughs> Leah's a bad. pro. That is like oh, and then fit, like drinking the alcohol and then washing it down with more alcohol. Ooh. Leah's got a stomach of steel. Literally. Damn, your phone screen is fucking blasted, dude. That shit is cracked the hell up. Woo. Even more alcohol. Here we go, dude. Is she finishing all the rest of it? Oh my god. Oh my god. Leah. Oh. Who is this That's woman? Cheating. He is to be in a sexy, fiery fiance. Oh my god, Leah's cra Leah crazy, oh my god, like, Corey drinks three alcohols, like, he, he didn't finish any of them, right, he literally didn't finish any of them, he took a like, half shot, and Leah's literally slurping them down like it's nothing, like it's water, dude, oh my god, nothing, literally, as if it's like, look at the, look at the pace, look at the pace, Oh my god, Leah, stop! Stop, Leah! 
Oh my god! How is this even possible? Oh my god, how much more? Is nobody here like gonna stop this woman, dude? Is there not like a person on standby watching this? Oh my god, is she gonna be able to walk? <laughs> We've come back to Is you fucking Dude. Dude, okay? I, okay, in the UK, you guys gotta let me know. Is there something in the water? Is it like some kind of built-up immunity that people have when it comes to alcohol? Is it just is it just like water for you guys? And we got six caramel shots. Yes, guys. This is the same day. He's wearing the same shirt, bro. Why? Like you guys drink too much alcohol. You literally were just on the the brink of collapse, Corey. You don't you don't gotta prove anything to anybody. We we know you're good. You're fine, Corey. You don't need to drink like that. Listen, Jess, I think just bought okay. us some shots to congratulate okay. us. So we're gonna do a shot together now. You, okay. Thanks, guys. Look at Leah's still drinking. Like, the, oh, Leah literally had like 12 shots. <laughs> Leah had like 15, 12 shots. And she's still out here just knocking them back. Like, it's not, like, it's nothing. Like, it, it almost like it doesn't even register to her. And it. Bro, as much as I want to say the food is bad, is food is bad for these people. Like, they, they eat too much. Bro, alcohol. That's a real problem. Yes! It doesn't even look like these people are even drinking it. Lee's got no problem, dude. This is the final drink in Poland. I've gone for a vodka Red Bull. Um, and after we drink this, we're going to go... Does your liver not get affected by this? Like, you're literally... This is probably like five years of liver damage in one night because you guys wanted to like have a good moment because you just proposed to your girlfriend. It's far, so much is luck. Slowly, if you have the best holiday. Also, ever. Red Bull in the middle of the night, beautiful. Uh, I like know. caffeine as much as the next guy, but good lord, man. I love you so much, Cole. I can't believe you proposed to me. <laughs> you hear that gay ass? Yeah. <laughs> you guys hear that gay ass? Uh, I like to make myself believe that planet Earth turns. Oh. And loads of people saying like they don't believe that they actually Dude, you're fucking I don't even you're not even speaking English, bro, and you're from England. Yeah. Listen to I me. can't even believe that he proposed to me. He is my love. I love Corey so much because he's like the best guy. He buys me alcohol. He also sometimes gets me back case. I also really like him because he's got a really good personality. And he smells really like all spice and stuff like that. Now, right? I swear down, I swear on my mum's life, my sister's life. I yeah, swear on my life. mom's I life, I love Curry. He's gonna be my boy, he's gonna be my husband now. And I'm gonna make sure he gets all the Mackies he needs. It's gonna be us, and we're gonna have sex while we eat Mackies. No idea, like, I love you so much. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, love you. Yeah, true. <laughs> wow. Engagement and the final Polish The whole night. day. The whole love day you. of alcohol. This is the first time I'm taking Leah out back home as a fiance. You know how much we love Greek food, so we've come to Maria's. No, I don't know how much you like Greek food. I, this is my. F I've watched so much of Corey, and I've never even heard him say he likes Greek food. I, this is my first time ever hearing him say that. Werner in Cates. Inside the restaurant's white and blue. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at this guy back here just looking like these, these fucking, these fucking people recording in a fucking shop, recording in a restaurant with me in the background. This is fucked up. I don't want to be recorded. I'm a fucking man, okay? Don't you better. Oi, oi, stop recording me, man. Or you want to get knifed? Oh, let me chat to you, bruv. So it has that authentic Greek feel. The coke comes in glass bottles. What is the authentic, authentic Greek feel? Like anal sex? Ah, stop. Let me stop. Come on now. Which is obviously a bonus. We did order quite a lot. Dude, but when Leah you get is Greek black. food, how can you not? We went for the halloumi fries, the sakanaki, the Thai. For some reason, it doesn't look good. It looks it looks really wet for some reason. Like even the bread looks wet. Maybe I don't know what I'm talking the about. The cheese wrapped in bread. And these starters were insane. The halloumi That's a starter. 
Not even the meal. I thought that was the meal. Five go ahead. my favorite. But to be fair, it was all 10 out of 10. We couldn't decide what to go for for the mains. I wanted a Kaleftico. Leah was in two minds whether to get the moussaka. But we settled for the Maria's platter. <laughs> the which moussaka was... sounds like a sex move, dude. It's chicken. I'm about to perform this moussaka on you right now, dude. Just fucking, you know what I'm saying? Just whip that shit out. Moussaka Pork that souffle, tzatziki sauce with pita bread, grilled sausages, and a kebab Philadelphia. Okay, which right. is basically just a massive sausage full of cheese. And we had homemade chips with it. And they tasted exactly like my mum's. The food here was fresh and hot and the meat the was so here. juicy and succulent. Leah couldn't stop swallowing and gobbling all the sausages. Yo, we... Corey, calm the fuck down, bro. She's your wife. She's not our wife. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you guys appreciated today's video. If you did, I uh, appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. Let me know what you guys think about this alcoholism over there in the UK and between Corey and Leah, bro. I've, I've never seen people drink as much alcohol as these people. And you guys know what I'm saying now when Leah, like when you see Leah drinking as much as she does, and then you're literally looking at Corey and you're like, Jesus, man, I, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was like this. I, I had not known that you weren't actually an alcoholic. Like you're just trying to emulate what you think an alcoholic would be. But I, I, I almost can't believe how much al uh, alcohol, you know, Leah can actually pack up. But uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Suppose um, you're beautiful. <laughs> you look really great today. And by the way, uh, if you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in pen. Because pens are represented. I know a lot of people nowadays don't have pens because, like, why would you need them? You have your phone. You can write stuff down there. Um, but pens are pretty cool. They're a novelty item at this point, which is really, really sad. But I'm actually really happy about that because my handwriting is terrible. I probably have a worse set of handwriting um, than Michael J. Fox, in my opinion. But anyway, I know your handwriting is beautiful. I know you know how to write in cursive. Even if you don't know how to write in cursive, I don't. Um, I still think that your handwriting is beautiful, delicate, and warm simultaneously. Like the way the ton, sorry, ton, the way the, the pen touches a paper is, mm, ooh, delicious, tasty. All the goodness are personified. You're a beautiful person, by the way. You smell really great, and I really love your eyebrows tonight. Uh, if you want to check out my social medias, it'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.